I knelt down and I pray. I thank God. And I went to tell my mommy. I'm like, mommy, I got this. Playing Sarah in Blood Sisters, that was very different because it was very heavy physically, emotionally, mentally, spiritually. And, you know, for me to give a very true experience, I had to put myself in those shoes. I had to somewhat get to a place where I understood and truly believed what these women were going through. I read so many, so many stories. And I think what struck me the most was People that are victims of abuse, it didn't matter if they were older women or younger, it didn't matter if they were rich or poor, it didn't matter if they were white or black, tall or short. No matter how big or small they were, they were they like they were put in a place where they were actually victims, where they still fell for this pattern and they still stayed, a lot of them stayed. And I'm like, how is it possible that and the funny thing is it's so similar in terms of how the pattern before they start the physical abuse, you know? They break you mentally and then the physical abuse starts. So you're telling me you're willing to let go of everything? Maka once you it can't be that bad. People on set really helped, the cast and crew and Nancy. Um, I remember one time, one of the scenes we were having and it wasn't even a scene where we were supposed to break down, but somehow the way that scene ended up playing out, like Nancy and I broke down in the scene. And I remember the director yelling cut and we were still wailing, you know, but having her by my side throughout the process definitely helped in lifting spirits after the day. And then we had the most professional, caring um, crew that really helped just make you feel safe and then the directors Kenneth and B Bandele they were so amazing like for an actor for you to deliver you need to trust the people you're around and we at least I personally like trusted them fully I knew I was cared for I knew that I could go the distance because they would make sure that I was catered to and I was cared for and I was safe I remember auditioning for it and I had, I knew that it was like Netflix was affiliated with the project, and I remember. But even beyond all that, I remember reading for Sarah when I was doing my first tapings, right? And I'm like, gosh, Shay, she's my personal assistant. I'm like, Shay, I want this one. Like, I'm like, God, I want this. So I, re I read for Sarah. I read for Timeni, which you guys will meet very soon. So I sent in those audio tapes, and I remember being called back for the physical audition. And at that time, they wanted me to read for Sarah, Kemi, and Timei. But I had told them that that was a lot because it was like 30 sides and I had just one weekend and there was just no way I could be off book for all 30. So I told them that please, they need to narrow it down to two. <laughs> you know, so they picked two, which was not even Sarah. And I remember coming and doing a physical audition. There were so many people and Timo, a bunch of people, and they were recording obviously to send to Netflix. And at first I was shaking, but then when I got into that room, I'm like, girl, it's now or never. <laughs> and then I remember getting the call from Auntie Mo herself. And she told me, Ini, you've been cast for six. Look, my, you know when they slap you and you think, dum. It was like, someone hits me. <laughs> I was ecstatic. And I just knew that, you know, it was going to be a journey that was worth it. I knelt down and prayed. <laughs> I know that and I pray. I thank God and I went to tell my mommy. I'm like, mommy, I got this. That was it. Yes. If no be you, eh? Half of the things I don't accomplish with this never for no fit. Need to let go of everything. Maka once you it can't be that bad. You still want me to go for the wedding? Let me tell you guys, you are not ready. Even me, that I was in the film, I am not ready. It is so intense. It is so, it's a lot. And we put in everything. And we put in everything. 
everybody gave their all and this is going to change the course of history for so many things it's going to be a ma master plus for nollywood and i'm so proud like i cannot wait to watch it and trust me you're not ready <laughs> It's very disheartening and I like I literally reach out to everyone that is going through that. I know that it's not easy and I know people always wonder, oh my God, how do you stay? How do you stay? But that's the thing, the fact that someone will be going through that and a lot of people still think that that's to show you how traumatizing that is. And I just, you know, want to talk to anyone that is dealing with it too. To tell someone, like it's not, I know it's hard, but it is like you you are worth it and you're enough and you do not need the, because they like try to make you believe that you you only exist around them and that is such a lie and my heart just reaches out, reaches, reaches out to everyone that has been through that that is going through that the fashion scene it's incredible for me it's very it's it's crazy because you know she wore the most glamorous amazing clothes but then underneath it was so much pain, so much imperfection. And I almost felt like m most of the things I was wearing were corseted, like tight, like for most of the scenes, especially in the beginning, I was literally like this, but then I looked so perfect on the outside while literally, so it, literally physically, I looked perfect, but inside I was dying. <laughs> so, you know, there's, there was a crazy play on that and that really also helps in me carrying the character. Um, I think for my skin, I hydrate a lot. I, I like to try different products. So, I mean, whether it's a toner, a cleanser, moisturizer, sunscreen. That's the, if I was going to say one thing that people need to put in their bag, it is sunscreen. Um, yeah, and just make sure, you know, you try to wash your face in the morning, try to shower at night, and just keep your face moisturized and use your sunscreen.